Um, for those of you that don't, WordPress is a standalone um, format of its own. Have you looked into WordPress yet? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so this is on top of WordPress. So on a website, you would install your WordPress um, um, on there, on your uh, domain, and then you would um, you upload uh, elegant things. So there are two ways. One is you go to the WordPress website. Do the website building over there, or you can do another website and then download the WordPress, right? Right, you can. Um, a lot of the servers uh, these days now have the easy one step click a button and it'll, uh, it'll um, give you a WordPress yes. setup. And you just make sure you have your uh, account information through WordPress.com or .org. Is it .com or .org? Um, dot for org. Dot org. Is the for paid yeah. one is the dot com is the free one. Dot com is the free one. So, yeah. Actually, dot org is the open source one where you download dot com. You can do a free one, but if you want to upgrade to get your own domain name, then you pay for that one. Right. So yeah. Right. I was just trying to uh, graduate in the steps that were necessary before you go to a theme. So you would have to have a WordPress website first, whether it's um, I don't think you can't use uh, the theme with a free one. You would have to use it with. Uh, um, a hosted website. So it has to be a hosted website with your domain name pointed to it, and then you can use one of these themes. And Elegant Themes, if you see up here, they have 87 themes for one for the price of one. I haven't used any of their themes, I only use Divi. Their price is um, for a year, if you just do a personal one website, it's $69 a year. Um, it doesn't come with all the plugins and everything, so I don't recommend that one. They do have a developer one, which is most popular, and that's $89 a year. If you do a Google for a coupon code, you can get 20% off. Um, that's how I got my lifetime access. I decided I ain't playing around. I'm just going to go for the gusto and um, get the, the membership. Uh, I think it's worth it, um, although lately uh, their, um, their uh, um, tickets for service, they're pretty slow right now. So. They must be just on an overload of people that have uh, that use their theme. So it says they have almost 300,000 customers. Okay, now um, with one thing that okay, how come it's not? Do I have to do this every time? I have to cast to this tab. Okay, I see. Um, with themes, it's really important that you have uh, protection and that it. Um, is uh, the security of the theme is, is uh, Fort Knox. And what uh, Nick Roach is the owner of Elegant Themes, he had Divi uh, studied by, um, by Securi back in uh, February 2014. And at the time, this is what Securi said about their theme. The code audit found zero issues. Because of the rarity of an event like this, the review was performed multiple times, each with the same result. Um, the second quote is, it is the opinion of the review team that this theme was developed extremely well and as such the Divi theme is deserving of the safe theme seal. So um, no significant issues were identified during the vulnerability assessment uh, during the code audit. So I thought that was uh, well notable to give a good push for Divi. Um, Nick Roach claims that he will continue to work at it being the most solid um, and secure theme out there. And that is their blog. Okay, um, a little bit of an overview about Divi is, um, let me see if I can. And forgive me, I think I am, there we go. Every Okay, within Divi, what's in the box? It comes with the Divi Builder, which we're going to go over that. Um, is that like Genesis? Is that an underlay, or is that just a... Uh, it's an engine, like, I w would you compare it to Genesis as an engine, or um, Genesis in and of itself is its own engine? Yeah, Genesis. It's an underlay that everything runs off of. Yeah, and then, Jen, you have to have WordPress, Genesis, and then your themes. Yeah. With this one, you just have to have WordPress and your theme. If that makes sense. I don't know Genesis. No, don't. So. Okay. If you have a question, save it till the end, and we'll. She's gonna have five minutes at the end okay. to answer questions. So the Divi Builder, um, and we'll. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the. Pre -made outs. Oops. 
And uh, the other good, great thing is it's responsive design. But, and I can't get this thing to stand up. There we go. Okay. I wanted to show you guys some examples so you can kind of see the beauty of Divi. I'm hoping that I can um, do this quickly. I am seeing that I have to cast each tab. So these are themes that are built with Divi. Wow. Um, this is using the uh, full screen slider with a video in the background. It's really oh my nice. Very nice. Um, they have lots of modules. We'll briefly go over those. Um, this is what you would call a, um, a CSS parallax scrolling for the background. So you can see how pretty that is. Let me show you a couple more. Sorry, it's taking me a minute here. Conversion Lab, I get his emails. He um, has high conversion rates. You should get his tips and be on his blog. Gives great information for free. So there's another one to kind of show you. It's a modular setup. These are all full width um, templates. You don't have to do full width, but it seems to be the popular uh, design that uh, the uh, web developers are going with. So the guy that owns this, he actually built this website himself. Oh, and there he's got an opt-out. Look at an opt-in monster. Okay, and let me go to the next one. Um, uh, am I on yet? No. This is a um, brew life. Just kind of giving you, so they have these uh, tabs that you can build in. I would gather that he has done some CSS customizing here. This is not, um, it might be in the new Divi update. You can do a lot more customizing within the modules. And I'll show you a couple more and then we'll move on. Uh, these, these next ones will be the ones that I have built. This is Magnified Web. Nice. This is your site. This is my site. Yeah, I built this. This is my first Divi site. Um, very basic with what Divi gives you. There's a Graphics little bit of CSS. Thank you. Thank you. This is using a lot of the full width with the background. I'm trying to make my images really, really small is hard and still look nice. Um, the parallax scrolling, my son did the logo, he's into graphic design. Wow. And then they have their social follow, um, which is really nice. They have social sharing plugin and a social follow plugin. So um, this is, let me just show you kind of one of the unique effects that I really like. Whoops, that's not it. <laughs> graphic design. That's my um, homeschool co-op that I built their website that you saw there. This one's fun because it's using parallax and it's uh, three different modules. If you notice as I scroll, I have the image with the balloons and then the image right there. So that's really fun. And then social media. There's so much you can do. Divi is just a lot of fun. I did the same thing here, same aspect. When you scroll, you see the social media icons. It's very pretty. Okay. And there's one more. This is another one. This tab, sorry, it's taking me a bit. This one is a, a studio salon in Corona, and I use parallax and the imagery for her header. And then, so if you scroll down, these are all modules, there's portfolio, you get to have um, testimonials, and um, <coughs> scroll down, and you can, they have a, a regular contact form. That are, it's already built in to the theme. You can just add it, it's simple. And then they have the full width Google Maps. 
and then the footers and just like with your WordPress things you can use um, widgets and um, create your footer with different parts I got the four columns going on there okay now, another great thing about Dibby is I'm going to take you to their documentation. It's probably one of the other benefits that I absolutely love. Let me cast the tab. And here is the Dibby theme documentation. If you can see, they have within each of these modules you get a full-on video and then text that explains to you how to do things. So um, probably the most extensive tutorials uh, that I've found in the theme. Very helpful. And with Divi, there's so many users. There's a lot, you can Google uh, Divi when I wanted workarounds and I needed CSS code really fast. <laughs> okay, I'm a cowboy cover. Um, I copied and pasted and made a child theme and, and would uh, tweak it to my liking. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see, uh, Debbie works off sections. Um, I'm sorry, they work off of um, section, rows, yeah, sections, rows, then modules. So it's sections first, rows, and then modules. Um, Let me show you what comes out of the box. I'll have to log into my website for that one. Okay, so I've logged, I've logged into my website, Magnified Web, and I created a page just for us tonight, just to kind of show you. I'm going to put this back at default editor. So you go to create a page like you would in WordPress. And Divi will give you uh, their extension here. It says use the Divi Builder. I'd rather use that than create a regular page in WordPress. So I'm going to use the Divi Builder. As you can see, I use WordPress SEO by Yoast. So there's all of that. There is this here, the Layout Builder, I never use. It's part of Divi. Um, if you want to do something really simplistic within your page, you can use just the simple builder with little modular tabs. Divi has a whole page of short codes um, that you can use in any part of your uh, design. So, as I was saying, um, the basic parts of Divi is, I don't know if you can see here or not, but where my, my um, you can't see my, oh, you, don't, you guys don't see. No, I don't see those. Okay, the blue is the section. Can you see man and white, please? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you for me? Absolutely. Okay, so standard section in the blue, see the blue modular? Yep. That's your base. So that's your standard section. So you either do a full width section or a standard section. Those are the two sections you'll start with when you go do a modular and like I don't a know section. Where where does that get set at the bottom down there? So um, oh, I can't just go back and forth. Yeah, it says well, those are adding. You're adding extra sections. I see. Now go to the green. That is where you're going to add rows. And if you can see, if I hit insert column, Sweet. those are the rows I get to choose from. So I can pick out any. Uh, dynamic that I want oh, here. Nice. So say I want to do that, okay? So I have a two-thirds or a one-third and a two-thirds. One-third on the left, two-thirds on the right, which would be great if I put a background picture. So hit the blue, um, see the blue section? If I hit that, it's going to give me, do I want a background image there? So I picked a full, uh, full screen on this one. You don't have to do full screen, but each one of these sections allows you to work um, within its frame. And then within these modules is a whole other world of what you would call, uh, or rows, would you call modules. So I'm sorry, it was uh, in the rows you would add a module. These are already um, prefabbed by Divi. Oh, I can even add a social media follow, follow, I can do a post title, I can uh, do my blog on this page. Um, I can use a short code and text if I want to add something um, from another plugin or even from Divi. 
uh, within, like let's say I put text in there, it gives me the editor right there. And right in here, if you can see, I have Monarch set up. So I can put Monarch on here if I want to, which Monarch is your social follow and your social share plugin. Um, you can have a learn more block. They have a full documentation section to teach you how to use their shortcuts. For all the little fun doodads that you can have your drop downs and your columns and your accordions, uh, there's all kinds of different. Uh, I can do an add author bio. Uh, that'll show, have my image in there and um, make it a different color if I want so it's set apart. Uh, this also comes um, when you are adding um, comments. When, I don't know if you ever noticed though, uh, when it's really hard to tell the author when he's commenting on somebody's comment to a site, if he's not a different color and set apart, you can't tell. But with Divi, you can make your comments set apart. Okay. That's just general settings. They have just updated, and so now you can customize completely this module with the text font size only for this area if you want. Or there's another area that you can do it for your overall theme, um, and it would do all of them. But then you can customize it specially. I just want this one to be a different color for a certain reason. So the sky's the limit. And then if you really want to be um, challenged, you can do all your CSS, custom CSS here. You would use Chrome, uh, your Chrome developer area to be able to tell the um, pseudo names and such so that you could write your own code if you want uh, on the page. Okay. Out of the box, there is about 20. You got a question? No, five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, already? You're fast. Before you get to questions. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Out of the box, there is uh, about 20 predefined layouts. So let's say I want to just create a creative, uh, creative agency here. There it is. There's a whole website page. A whole, a whole page. website page, yeah. And I'm going to go and look at it. I'm going to show you what it looks like. See, we are a creative agency. It's already there for me. Cast oh, you can't see. Sorry. You can see, but nobody else can. <laughs> Lisa, see me afterwards. I can show you how to do that. All right. See at the very bottom. Okay. Um, so, um, anyway, so there, there are those. These are blurbs. These would be the module little blurbs. You can make the images big or you can make them little on the side. Our latest work, you can pull in a portfolio. Um, I mean, out of the box, you could have a website within an hour. And so there, that's just one. And if I just go back, and I don't, I don't want that one. I'm not happy. So I'm just going to clear the layout. You go back to my page. Your photo library, is that included or is that a separate? Hosting? That's separate. That would be just like your WordPress when you're uploading images. Okay, are we at five minutes now? It's coming. It's Three coming. Minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's that a, question. Yeah. Here's an About Us page. Wow. Let me cast it real quick. Sorry. So you're talking about people making websites in three hours? Yeah. Four hours. Um, this one is an About Us page. Put your About Company, I'm a digital agency, your story. They have these really cool little doodads with the 80% brand strategy. So, and that's it for that page. And mind you, um, say I, I like this page, and I gotta, ah, hold on, I gotta get you guys back where we were at. Um, Okay, I didn't think that, I thought it was going to take me forever to get 20 minutes, but I guess not. Okay, I want to add an extra section here because I want something else here. So I, I add a standard section. Remember, it goes section, rows, and then modules. So um, I just added a section. I'm going to go ahead and add a row and see what do I want here. I want to do thirds here, and I'm going to insert a module. I want to do a login. Where's the login? Login, yeah. there it is. Title, leases. And redirect, yes. Use background color, yes. Let's do that. Light color, text orientation left. Um, <coughs> save and exit. 
My next module, I want to do a um, testimonial. And Lisa is great. Not <laughs> great website. Thanks, tons. Okay, save and exit. And then I want to do a. What do I want to do? How about a video? Even though I don't know where it's going to come from. All right. So preview. Cast this tab. <coughs> My little module. Oh, so I missed some information. But I, I still have to do a little bit more. And I didn't add a video. But if I put the URL in there, I could add a background image or a background color uh, to each section. So think horizontally with Divi. Um, you can go into their. Try to show you here. I just want to show you one more thing. Theme options. Oh no. <laughs> and they, have, I got rid of this. Oh. <laughs> they still have it and, it and you only need it for a few things. You have to put your logo in there, you put your Favicon in there. Um, if you're, you, I used WooCommerce, so this is helpful. If you use Aweber or MailChimp, but they have other plugins, so you don't have to you can disable all these if you want to. They have a um, theme customizer. This is totally new. Okay, so we'll, after this, we'll go to questions. Okay. So. Yeah, so you have about five minutes for questions. So. If so I want to hide the logo, I can hide the logo. It should show me here what it's doing. Okay, so if I scroll, it's going to hide the logo. Okay, if I don't want it to. Do you that. have to pay extra to get them to pull the logo? Oh, no. All this is part is of the Is that included? Yeah. Yeah, the yearly 89 gets you um, their help, um, their um, technical help. You should and, torture uh, test that. <laughs> well, I had it in a different direction than it normally is. Um, I was trying to, you can, I can change my, my navigation can be on the top, it can be on the side. I can make the whole thing uh, not full width, but it can have margins on the side. I can make it as wide, as skinny as I want. And they all also have a mobile um, a mobile part here, so I can look at mobile styles and I can see where I'm at. So it's responsive. It's responsive, and then Check I can even off. change it within the theme if I want to, and it'll add a mobile um, section for it so that it performs properly like I have to do. This is all new with Divi. All this that you're seeing, so like, see, that's what it looks like. I didn't realize that. This is question time. Okay, question time. I have one question. Everything I have ever done has been extremely graphics intensive. Graphics have been the biggest POA that, that are out there because they start out with a thousand, they're five thousand, they're ten thousand. You sort them, you know. Who are you recommending and who are you using that interface as well? Because some of them don't directly interface and they load slow and it creates issues. What do you mean, uh, in graphics or in With images? photos and stuff. Well, I have Photoshop, so I... Um, no, 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 when you store the photo for use on your website. On the server? It's a, yeah, it's a database that they're going back to. The media library. Huh? In the media library. The media library right. on, the, um, on the WordPress. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's ask questions related to Divi right now. We'll have time for other questions after. Okay. They yeah, don't have their own. Any more questions question. related to Divi? Yeah, about the licensing. Licensing, yes. Yes, the licensing is if you pay $89 a year, your license for as many websites as you want. You can do five websites. Mm -hmm. You could just go nuts. If you do the 249, it's a lifetime access, um, and and they um, you can use it as many, many times as you want. Cool, that's good. So each of those annual subscriptions is unlimited licenses mm -hmm. for that subscription yes. time. Okay. Are additional modules available? Uh, no, the modules are pretty much set within Divi. Um, they're, they have the, it's called the Elegant Themes plugin, which is a little bit of a separate section, which you can learn and read the documentation on. It's not as dynamic as the Divi portion of it, but um, it's a drag and drop, same difference. 
So it's just like when you get a plugin, you need to read all the documentation to see what your website can do. I think I, I was the type that just said, put it all together and I'll learn as I go. Hmm. Um, and uh, with Divi, what I realized is it's highly um, graphic heavy. So I learned that there's, um, even Photoshop can't get my images small enough, but there's a great, uh, I'll, I'll do the resources later. It's got three, it has three Two defaults. Two minutes for questions. It has what? WordPress has three default sizes. If you load the bigger one, it will size down automatically. Yeah, that, we're gonna focus on Divi yeah. for two more minutes. Two more minutes. Can I make yeah, a comment? I'm, yes. I'm not sure the relationship between Divi and the word, uh, WordPress. So Divi is a part of the WordPress. So. It's a separate, um, Nick Roach is the owner of Elegant Themes. Um, WordPress is a, a standalone on its own. You can just learn to do WordPress and you can build websites with that. Or you can buy already <coughs> made themes. And it's like, you pull it out of the box and you get to create. With it oh, already. That's Without knowing code, okay. yes. The whole point is it's easy. Drag and drop and uh, put in your images and your text and your video. One minute. You know what's nice about this? When I started with WordPress, I was trying to get all the weird plugins to work together to do this, 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 and this, and this. It's a nightmare. You know, this thing has got everything built in. This is a really good theme. It's got a lot of stuff built in, call to action, all these other little things that you got to go hunting for that some guy may not maintain next week and then it's going to drop right. off the radar. So this has got it all built in. This is the way to go. Um, awesome is it, it integrates with WooCommerce just fine. I just built this website really? with, oh, um, nice. with a product for a homeschool author that I've worked with for years. Wow, look at that. And we can do downloads. It's, that's parts free. You can do virtual download. Where can we find the resources for this after this presentation? Um, I, how, where can I post a link? Can I put it on the IE group? Yeah, we'll put it on the IE group, then we'll put it on the website because this video is going to YouTube. Okay. Then people will know. Okay, great. Awesome. Thanks, Thank Lisa. You. I have one more question. General question in terms of capability of the word express. Are you doing the website for e commerce to the word express or just the website? You have a full 